hello everyone welcome back to the new tutorial and in this one i'm going to show you how you can use a uv pass inside nuke to add a texture detail to your 3d render so this is very useful way to add any texture detail like a grunge or roughness to your existing 3d render in specular channel or in a reflection channel whatever it is this is the best way to add any texture you just need a texture you just need a uv pass if you don't have a UV pass, you can use a position pass. There are some gizmo that can convert into position pass into STMAP and then you can stick a texture with that. So this is the another way of doing it. Today, I'm fully focusing on the UV pass because I have a UV pass. So I want to show you how you can use that UV pass, you know, manipulate and add some variation in your 3D renders. So let's jump into Nuke and see the full step-by-step -step process. Now we are in a Nuke and this is the actual comp you guys already saw in my previous video where I show you how I did the uh, defocus part. So this is the continuation of as I said in my last part I will uh, make a separate video about this whole render. This is the second part and in this one let's talk about the textures how i use the uv pass to add a texture detail to this render so in this one you can see this light is too much so we will going to reduce when we going to see how i add this laser and this interactive light for now let's focus on the texture how i use that uh, uv pass to add a very uh, nice grunge you can see this all these textures i added in yoke using the uv pass everywhere here also you can see the small uh, dots here everything is done using the uv pass let's go here i have this full comp here which i am not gonna show you here because i just want to show you the basics structure so i have this robot here if i press f8 i can take it from here so let's keep this in this site and view this so this is robot and what i want to do i want to break uh, this uh, this glass here because see it's looking very very flat currently and this is uh, like very exposed but we have all the details here but it's very very exposed as you can see right so let's break this one first take the shuffle and let's take our pass as i said it's a uv pass if i show you that uv pass so this uv pass is look like this it's properly uv unwrap so that's why you see all this different part is very well in color coded in because in the here you can see all this texture here this label and uh, grunge i see this corner i mean roughness rough in the corner the the color also you can see color chips and everything is very well done so we can get this nice uv pass as well so how we can use that we can use this uv pass with the st map this is a st map actually okay if you can if you see this is the st map you have red and green and we don't have any blue the uv pass is actually a st map but this is formed in our 3d space so that's why we see these colors but you can only see red and green so if i just take the noise here and this is the normal noise and if i just connect uh, with this and in my uh, st map if i do this uv channel rgb now you can see this noise is properly wrapped on this 3d uh, geometry in some areas you can see stretching and some areas you won't you're not gonna see this much because if you see this uv map it's it's properly unwrap individual pieces like this glass is individual this is individual this is individual glass this is individual so everything is individual pieces so that's why we see texture here texture here so if i add a transform and if i try to scale uh, you can see what will happen so see now you can see this border if i move this then you will see what is going on so they are individually moving like that see in a different direction because in the colors you, you can see we have this red here and the green here but here we can see the red is here and green is somewhere here right so that's why they are moving in a different way this is how they unwrap this character so that's why we, we are getting this kind of you know color variation so let me just add that texture i have that texture here if i use that surface map so uh, this this is the texture which i'm using and this this is the texture i got from the mega scan so if you have a mega scan you can download from there so i'm just plugging this directly this texture and now if i view you can see this is what we need see here it's very well applied on this object everywhere is properly applied based on the uv pass right here you can see here also so uh, then what i did i just plug this as a alpha and plug this on this one i can just gamma down but you can see we don't have any alpha here so let's add one keyer node we can use this y if i press y you can see this, this is the luminance channel and we are just converting that luminance into alpha now we have this solid alpha before you don't have any alpha now we have alpha just connecting great into that alpha 
and now this is what we have so if i add a little bit of brightness now we added the texture here let me just blur this one and make it to like 1 1.2 something like this and now we added this very nice texture to the whole image you can see this is looking very crappy not that much good because we need to add this texture uh, individual passes so uh, this is the basic idea just take your uv pass with the st map and you can do like this and one more thing i did i will just show you here i have this uh, crypto mats i'm just taking a crypto mat and i'm just connecting here so and just changing this to material like i just want to apply on this uh, glass so i'm just taking a mask after applying this i can just mask out this let's after the blur at the end so i just want to apply on my glass so like this i'm just making a mask and then i'm using integrate so i'm only applying on the glass nothing else so this is the another way of doing it and i'm using this way to isolate each and every part and just applying a texture to all the parts individually so this is just a setup and if i show you the actual comp till here and this is the specular direct and you can see this is my specular direct pass so this is normal you can see we have this glass here and this is the setup so same same setup we have this robot texture this uv pass and we have this grunge surface i'm just scaling up based on that uh, steam map and we have this steam map if i view see everything is wrapped and with, with this transform i'm just uh, isolating that area and we have uh, this crypto mat isolating this part just masking out and with the transform i'm just transforming based on how bigger and which position i want and here is one more roto to you know uh, isolate just that corner because in the crypto mat it's not possible to isolate that corner so i'm just rotoing that out and now i have this and then i'm grading it like this way you can grade or you can just you know directly merge this one here like this this is another way of doing it so if i off you can see we added that texture so when we see at the end now we have this texture with this one so but i'm using a grade so i can change the color and i can do many things here like in the grade i can uh, gain down i can do the gamma also see when you do the gamma it will become more darker like that so that's why so there are many ways but the whole idea is like this this st map uv pass and your texture that's it so i'm just copy pasting this same setup everywhere so i'm just copy pasting this same setup everywhere and you can see it's very similar to all of them and if i just uh, show you the one by one so if i just off uh, this now uh, let's see how much uh, texture detail i added so this is without any texture detail and this is with the texture detail you can see how much i added and every part is a separate separate part and you can see this glass one it's looking very good and in the body also this black texture you can see it's totally uh, i mean i just want to you know add some diffuse variation also so you can see here also the black it's looking good so when you see all of them combine in the here so this is uh, the render and this is the beauty let me show you the beauty you can see how much textures we have now see here uh, see this shoulder so all these texture done in a nuke using that uv pass and some uh, you know so you can use any texture so this is the idea and i add this directly to this uh, specular direct here i'm using in my transmission direct also because in transmission direct you can see this texture right so here I, I also added this in this side because this side is very very bright you can see i just break that part if i see here in the end and let's disable that so you will see this is very uh, flat looking see then i break this one like this and it's looking very natural because we are using actual texture we're not using any noise because noise is uh, very you know uh, similar and you can easily identify this is a noise pattern but when you're using a real texture like this it's very hard and it's very very good texture you can see it's a 2k i think it's a 4k yeah it's a 4k texture if you use higher texture it will be look more good but it will take a lot of time to you know load uh, those texture this is the way i use this one to add you know variation in the glass and in the whole body and some add some you know breakups as well if i show you this side so this is the actual breakup side and if i show you the beauty you can see how flat this is and compared to this it's breakup you can add these small small breakups to your render so this will help you know to uh, make the you know feel the realism in this side also if i show you this one see this is very flat see this is the actual render what i got and this is the breakup i added 
individually i added the breakout to all those parts so let me just off and let's turn off everything and i will turn on one by one so this one is for that side and this one is the whole glass the front glass like this now let's see the third so this side as i said i'm just breaking up every different different part i just want more control so that's why i'm uh, applying in a multiple uh, order and multiple selection now this part yeah this part is for the whole body not in the center these two hands and the leg right and let's see this one so yeah this one in this uh, chest part i mean this bottom part and let's see this one i'm not sure where i'm adding this one so let's view yeah so this is for that smaller part let's view that yeah so this single part i'm adding a separate one to add that breakup see that now we have more control over this one let's by view from here we reduce this one as you can see it's looking pretty good and the last one i'm not sure which part this is yeah this is this frame so if i zoom in because now you can see it's looking very flat so with this it's adding a bit more variation see we are breaking everywhere so this is the way i'm using this uv pass there are many ways of uh, using uv pass and adding texture everywhere so you can use this uv pass to add a texture in your diffuse color i mean this albedo you can add more texture here. you can take uh, any color pass from mega scan and you can use uv pass to add more texture to this existing texture you can blend texture uh, you can do many things so, so this is just uh, one method how you can use this uh, uv pass in nuke to add more details to your render uh, so this render and this script is available on the patreon as i said in my last video i have a full com process of this uh, robot from a to b like from here to here so i have a full com process video recorded on my channel and that is only for my patreon members so if you are my patreon member so you can get the access and you can watch that entire six hours of process and that process is fully step by step so you can see exactly how i'm doing r d how i'm doing comping the shot how i'm using a reference to you know uh, add those laser get this look and everything so everything you can watch in that six hours long video so this is it guys so uh, let's wait for the next part in the next part i will show you how i add these lasers and in that part also we will reduce this light because currently it's looking too much and i'm keeping this like this way till that next part and let's fix this in the next part and see how i add these lasers using uh, actual geometry so thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our very next one happy comping